Howdy! In this video, I want to talk about converting um, a repeating decimal to a fraction and using geometric series to do that. So let's say they've given us, well, my birthday is 617. So let's say they've told us that the 6 the, and the 1 and the 7 are all repeating. Well, so what we need to do, um, they're asking us to convert that to a fraction. So what I find to be the easiest is to say, well, this is... Um, 6, 17 over, well, that's the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place. Okay, plus, so if I were to expand this out, it would be 6, 17 over um, the, how many decimals did we have? We had three zeros here, so we need three more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me see if that makes sense. So we'd have point zero point six one seven. Maybe I should have started a little easier. This right here. Is 617 over the, the, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands, the one million. So, yes, one, two, three, one, two. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, I did not start easy, but here we go. Let's get rid of that. And um, so, this keeps going forever. So, we find that our first term is 617 over a thousand. And then our common ratio, we multiplied this by... Um, one thousandth. Okay, um, so if we're going to use our formula, that is that the sum of an infinite geometric, well, first of all, is this less than one? And yes, you betcha, it, it sure is. So the sum is equal to a sub one over one minus r. So this is 617 over a thousand divided by one minus one over a thousand, which would be equal to 617 over a thousand divided by, well, 999 over 1,000. Oh, there we go. Notice the thousands, I could multiply this by 1,000 over 1,000, and this would equal, that. those would clear out, and so I'd get 617 divided by 999. And let's see what happens um, if I go to Desmos. 617, oh, my bad. 617 divided by 999, and look, 617, 617, 617, 618, because it's rounding. Um, all right, so that looks good. Um, the next thing, what happens, though, if I take that, let's change our color, and instead of the all of it being repeating, say it's 0 0.6 and then 1 7 is repeating. Well, then what we have here is that this is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.017 plus... Zero. I don't. I don't usually write that first zero. I don't know why, but maybe I should. Okay. Anyway, zero point, and then it's one, two, three. Um, those, all of these terms would now be zero, and then one seven. Oh goodness. Okay. So, and then it keeps going. So what happens here is this part is the infinite geometric series, and then this part is just. Um, going to be added to it. So in this infinite geometric series, we have that this is 17 over 1,000, and then our common ratio is 1 over 100. Notice that I multiplied, um, there was 17 over 1,000, and this is bec this becomes 17 over, oh, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousandths, the one hundred thousandths. So I had to multiply this right here by 100 to get to that new value. Oh, goodness, what a beating. Okay, and then, I mean, this is fine. It's just not fun. This is 3 fifths plus the sum of um, a sub 1, 17 over 1,000 divided by um, 1 minus 1 over 100. All right. Um, this would be equal to 3 fifths plus 17 over 1,000. Let's get a common denominator in the bottom. Let's have the same in the top, from the top. This becomes... 99 over 100, which is 990 over 1,000. And so now at this point, we need 3 fifths plus 17 over 990. And I don't really care at this point. <laughs> Sorry. Go figure out what that is, and then that should have given you that um, 6 with the 1, 7 repeating. All right. Enjoy. Go practice. I just thought I'd clarify before you had this in your homework.